When you read a book, it's you and the words. And when you have an audiobook, it's you and the voice. People underestimate sometimes just how much work goes into that preparation before a recording. It's, it's really that ability to transfer words into life. You're not using any body movement or facial gestures, it's purely with the power of your voice. The process of reading an audiobook is a different skill set from almost anything else that an actor has to do. It's not the same as doing a voiceover, it's not the same as doing a documentary, it's not even the same as playing a part in a radio play. It is a completely different set of skills. It's a very concentrated space to really focus on the work. There are no distractions, everything's set up perfectly. It takes a lot of preparation. I go through each character and for some reason always think of them in a colour and then I like to work out what voices I'm going to give them, what accents I'm going to give them. If it's the first day of a recording, Here we go. the most useful thing is the first 10 or 15 minutes before you actually start recording. So with this, as soon as, as, soon as it begins, you know this is going to be fun and intriguing. OK, so if you're ready, we shall give it a go. It's recording now. The Open Window by Saki. My aunt will be down presently, Mr. Nucky. Said a very self -evident. I don't think there's a better feeling than when an actor reads the first line and you just know that that is the voice you had in your head and that is exactly how you wanted it to sound. I hope you don't mind the open window, said Mrs. Sappleton briskly. You're not just playing a part. You have to be the river on which the story is carried. You have to be, to some extent, invisible. But at the same time, it is your performance that makes that book come to life. Very often the writers are involved in choosing who reads their book, and I've, I feel that's an immense privilege. In a chill shock of fear, Frampton looked in the same... At its best, I think it's a fascinating journey that you go on through the book with the producer. You know that the actor really gets it, and you've got a really good director or producer there too who gets it and is prepared and knows exactly what they want from that actor. You know they're going to do a really good job. <laughs> it's a real chemistry thing that I think has to work on an audiobook. So it's a bit more regret. Yeah. Romance at short notice was her speciality. Uh, nearly. It was her speciality. Is that OK? It's recording now. Romance at short notice was her speciality. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Very, sorry, very, very nearly there. Okay. Very. Recording in three, two, one. <laughs>